What's up everybody? Welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Big D. This is episode number nine and we've got a few things going on on the farm. I wanted to do a little something different and give you guys an evening episode because I think that the sun and the sky and all of that, all of the way it renders in this game is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, Want to share a mod I thought was cool today. This is a old Chevy C10. Uh, let's look here in the mods for the uh, description here. It is a Chevrolet C10. Oh, back. 1966. Uh, 210 horsepower. Holds 2,700 widgets. Costs you 20, 20 bucks a day in maintenance. Um, I went ahead and picked one of these up. And this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and enter here. It's got a good deep tone to it when it starts. Lots of controls here. So you can unlock and unlock the doors. Uh, you can also uh, uh, open the doors there. You can do the bonnets and you can drop the tailgate as well let's get out of here take a quick look so there's the bed nice wooden bed there uh, the interior is pretty well done I mean it looks pretty sharp there's what we're working with on the engine so yeah got Alberta plates on there for you Canadians overall a pretty sharp looking truck so let's go ahead and uh, it's got a decent horn left turn signal right turn signal four ways It's got brake lights. It's got regular lights. So, pretty cool. Alright, let's take it for a little spin. Oh, that sounds so good. Now, the exterior view is kind of kind of sensitive as far as like how it does goes in and out like that but the controls left right up and down inside the cab as far as your view are good it's got decent speed and the I mean the traction in that it, it isn't the greatest but it shouldn't be it's an old farm truck so I mean I like it it's pretty cool it's gonna it's gonna have a place here on the farm I think we're gonna take it up here and pick up some uh, some grain So the farm is growing pretty good today. Um, well, it's, what I meant to say is the farm is growing pretty well, and we've got a lot of things going on. So tons to do, tons to keep up with. And we've got a lot to that I want to show you today. Uh, want to show you some course play for bailing today. So we're going to definitely do that. So let's take a look here. Okay, start filling. Fill wheat. Start. So the animation is pretty good. Doesn't hold that much, but. But it is pretty cool that it will hold something. Let's see what the action is on dumping it. And let's unload. That's kinda <laughs> that's kinda neat. So not too bad. Not too bad. 
so not a bad little truck. Let's get this guy out of the way here. All right, he's out of the way. Okay, so let's gonna let's go ahead and start getting some stuff set up. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy. We're gonna enable the straw swath. So he'll leave a straw swath there. So he's going to start dropping straw. I'm going to go ahead and set a few things up and we will be right back. And welcome back everybody. Uh, we got some setup done. Took a, took a few minutes, but uh, I think we're all, we're all good to go. Okay. So first things first. Now, this course play is the field work course play. Uh, we're going to bail some straw. And this is going to be specifically for bailing straw, how you can do this. Uh, in a later video, we'll highlight how to do this for grass because there are some subtle differences. And uh, I want everybody to be able to do this and do it as efficiently as possible. So first things first, uh, for this specific course play we're going to select field work we're going to go here uh, we'll expand this to uh, get the correct measurement make sure it is in fact 12 and a half meters um, but looks like to be, it, it is northwest okay select the right field we are on field 24 12 and a half meters wide we are 12 and a half meters wide Northwest headed east. All right. So basically, going into the course generation, setting your parameters there, 12 and a half meters for this specific uh, wind rower, uh, field 24. Good to go. Generate the course. That's what it looks like there. Okay. So go ahead, drive course. You should be going there. And the wind rowing should then commence. So now, key thing with this, okay, so this wind rowing is happening here. Uh, one thing you have to take into account is that uh, the working width for all of your stuff should at this point be 12.5 meters because the wind rower operates at 12.5 meters uh, working with all of your equipment uh, your baler and your uh, bill bill picker upper if you will all that stuff needs to operate at 12 and a half meters uh, because that's how the wind rower is operating so I'm gonna save this as 24 straw just save it okay that way and take these specs and apply them you can you can uh, add it to a different tractor so let's go ahead and grab uh, this one here which is the baler so once you've got everything wind road you need to get everything bailed so and you want to let them get ahead a little bit now we're not going to produce a whole bunch but the the purpose of this uh, is to just highlight uh, how to do this okay all right so now same uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the course play so go into your uh, manage courses and get your uh, let's see here 24 straw load it Bam, and uh, the field work. 
drive the course. So as you can see there, this baler is going through, picking up bales of hay, or making bales of, uh, of, uh, of straw, mind you, and off he goes. So using the same working width as the wind rower, he's going to follow the same track and do the same things. All right, so that's uh, pretty good stuff. And you're gonna notice too when you when you start doing this on your own farm, you're gonna produce a whole hell of a lot more straw than you are hay. So you'll be, in my opinion, you're gonna do this a lot less, a lot less, unless you're gonna go through and uh, sell your straw. I didn't mess with it. Uh, maybe I could have at the beginning to add a, a few dollars, but I didn't. But so be it. Okay, now. Last but not least, and I, I feel that this would probably be the most important thing you do, uh, is we need to go through and uh, get out of this. So this is probably going to be the most important thing you do. So, so you grab your bale picker upper, now the next thing, and we're going to ride with this guy the rest of the way, I don't, I've not done this before, I'm going to, I'm going to add the disclaimer, let me go down here, try to, sometimes my game exit out of here stop my driver and get him off the way and then we're gonna grab all right we're gonna grab this guy here okay so now for the bell picker upper, several things you got to do here. All right, I really should probably have a stronger tractor with this, but whatever. Now, first things first. Okay, uh, you're gonna go through and. Before I do that, just give me a second here. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to stop the driver. I'm going to back him up. And I'm going to unload the baler. All right, so there's that. Uh, they're out of the way. I'll just run over here. So, as I was saying, a few special things you got to do with the bell, uh, with this bell picker upper. First things first. Uh, you need to how you set up your you just need to set up your course plate by selecting the proper okay so 24 straw is what we have for here so we're gonna set that up there all right and then the other thing you want to do is you want to add the course plate that transports it okay once again, you want to add the course plate that transports it, which is we call top to cow hay. Append course at end. Okay, so there's multiple courses, two combined courses. The other thing you want to do is your side offset. We're 
Wait a minute. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah. Should be right. Yep. Side offset. Should be about two and a half meters to the left. And let's see. Let's see if I have it correct. Okay, so two and a half meters. That's what side offset is. Drive the course. Oh, hold on a second. I do apologize for this, I'm going to make sure that I have this right. Hmm. Alright. Let's drive it the way it is, see what happens. We're going to stop him there because I know for a fact that's not going to work. I'm going to X out of that. Okay. Here we go. Field work. Sure here. I feel like uh, I should be doing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I said, I've not done this. 24 straw. And then we're going to append this to that. Two combined courses. wrong trailer for this mode. Alright, so. Alright, so. I feel like I had field work selected, but maybe not. But, either way. So, you want the tool offset to be I'm going to set him up. Now, for a field this small, it might be easier to do this yourself. Just drive through and pick him up. But I do really want to highlight. Did I not? Good God. Sorry, it's been about five minutes of that. I do, I do apologize for this. But like I said in previous videos, I do want people to see that you can have issues with this. See, I had the tool offset at two and a half meters, uh, and this is going to drive right on top of this hay bale here. All right. Okay, so. All right. So I, at this point, don't want to inconvenience you anymore. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pause this again, and I am going to find out why this is not working. So be right back. And we're back. Uh, I think I've got this figured out. So 24 straw. Got it. Okay. And then... We're going to add 
the uh, top to cow hay, a pen course at the end. All right, there's that, okay. Tool offset, over here. Tool offset horizontal. You want to... Two and a half meters to the left. There we go. That should be that. So, shouldn't need anything else. Should be able to drive the course. Alright, so, as you can tell, you can see where the lane it actually was. And we're offset two and a half meters. And this should allow for you to pick up the bale. Or allow for the course play to pick up the bale without going through and running the bale over so uh, that I couldn't find where it was uh, took me a minute I do apologize for the delay uh, did not mean did not need to did not mean to needlessly make the video longer than it already was so I do apologize for that maybe you'll pick this guy up no you missed out that's all right the bale or drop them off there or spit them out there it's no problem, okay? Pick them up later, be fine. So, as you can see here, the bell picker upper is doing a good job of going through and collecting these. And if we did everything correctly by setting up the course and then adding in the offload course which is basically just uh, like an overloaded course, if you will, then we should be good to go. So the rest of the video is just going to be us riding along, watching this guy do his thing. I am going to move some equipment out of the way because I see disaster. I see disaster in our future if we don't. And you do need to do that with course play. You do need to move stuff out of the way every once in a while, so we'll do that. And you can see that the, uh, the tractor will stop to move the bales back. It did pick up the one. Oh, you missed that on the other ones. Great. Okay, so. I am going to stop the driver. I am going to move him back. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to also put this into the operating position. I'm not sure why you skipped out. But like I said, it is course play, so. And we're gonna pick this guy up over here. And sometimes if you want the driver to just go ahead and move on with the course play and do the next thing, you just go ahead and tell it to do so. So at this point, he's going to move. I'm going to quit saying is going to. He should move up to the beginning of the designated delivery route. And as you can tell, this is a pretty small field, and we got like, we got 10 bales of straw out of that, and we didn't even pick up this row over here, get this bale. I will have to do that manually, um, 
there's just no way around it uh, unless you manually record the course uh, you know it's going to stick to within the field boundaries and as it pertains to straw I will stay within the field's boundaries uh, when we're doing grass and turning it into hay I, I will do uh, I'll probably will take a few more liberties as far as how I design that and so uh, next episode we will uh, that'll be the last of the course play tutorials if you will um, is using field work to bale grass for you um, so yeah that's that so I, I do hope that the series is somewhat interesting for you guys that like to play farming sim um, this is a, a very amazing game Giants has done a very good job uh, you know even with the the graphics and and all of all of that I, I just think that it's, the Giants did a phenomenal job creating an exceptional game uh, the models are very nice the tractors are very nice uh, I think the modders uh, you know have done a good job already you know we're what three months uh, pretty much since the game uh, started and we have just I mean we've been able the, the modders have just gone and created so many good things uh, for this game and to enhance this game uh, course play uh, you know it was already created it they created for previous uh, farming simulators and they, they ported it uh, for 15 and, and they've done an absolutely phenomenal job you know inspector mod obviously um, all of the maps there's so many new maps out there guys that you guys that you can check out that have so many different things that you can do with the economy uh, I saw pigs and cows that you know you can sell them for beef you know which, which uh, you know obviously Giants hasn't done with as far as like the uh, you know the selling for meat aspect of it uh, just different kinds of crops I just just un it just you guys you you know you guys should uh, definitely uh, support the modders that are doing good things especially the ones that just enhance games um, it's an important part of uh, of the experience as far as you know what mods bring to the game how much they extend the game so all right so this is the overload point that I set up uh, as far as like where I was going to down or offload my my hay or straw and it's just gonna drop it there and he should drive off I mean it's probably gonna fall because I yeah I know so be careful how you set that up guys uh, I have got a big mess and I promise I will clean this up it's gonna probably take me some time <laughs> but it I will clean it up uh, because you know and that just goes to show how how important offload points are and how you set those up so as you can tell though guys this is going to work just fine as far as going back to the farm even though I was kind of a dumbass and didn't set my points right as far as offloading and keeping a straight track after the offload but hey lesson learned guys I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again um, Please, please check out the other videos in the series. Um, if you have any questions, especially on course play, uh, they're on there. If uh, hope you like the mods. Uh, if there's a specific mod you want me to check out, uh, put a comment uh, down below. Uh, if you want to keep up with the channel, hit the big red button. Don't be afraid to give a video a like if you enjoyed watching it. If you didn't enjoy watching it, let me know what I could do better. Uh, thanks again, uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, keep hitting play, and happy farming.